All right, guys, I'm here at Swall Dog's house. I've got the TJ here. I want to give you a walk around, kind of tell you what the plan is with this thing. This this project is a 22 years in the making, and it still looks like this. So we're going to give you a little bit of more info about it. So here she is, a 1997 Jeep TJ. All that's really left of the TJ is the body, as you can see. Right now, what we've got on the front here is we got a moto built front half kit. So we've cut this off and we've just stabbed in some steel here just to make it a roller over the last couple years. But we're getting back to it here. We've got full hydraulic set up on, this, on the front here. You got the R-Tech, high steer arms. This is a solid cylinder. This came off of like a skid steer or something. We chopped the cylinder down and reported it. And these are run this is running the Terra 60 axles. And I've got the old school trail ready avalanche bead locks on 15s running the Super Swamper SX's 38 and a half. You can see come the, some of the modifications over the years. In 2001, built this long arm kit that went from the, the lower control arms, went from the center. And that was cool at the time, but the angles just weren't quite right. It had a three link, triangulated three link on the front. And so that is going to be changed over to a three link with a panner bar. The rear, several years ago, was converted to a four link. We moved these back and we put in, um, kind of French this into the frame here with the ballistic joints, three inch ballistic joints on the bottom. Run in some King two and a half inch, uh, 14 inch air shocks on the rear. You can see the four link here. Uh, some two, six, three ballistic joints on the upper links. Terra 60 in the rear, run the ARBs. Shot on the inside here. We've got some Mastercraft seat seats. We got the Poison Spider roll cage in here. We haven't painted this yet, but it's all welded up. Coming back to the rear, I do have a fuel cell in here. So that's probably about a 12 gallon custom fuel cell we did. Um, when I redid, when we put the cage in, I used to have a hard top on this and I actually had the vent line run up through the hard top. With soft top, obviously you can't do that. So just kind of built in this loop here so that it's not spitting out and just spit out underneath. You're swallowed off. Woo! Well, let's let's talk let's... about this uh, project here. Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna check out some of the parts we got over here for it that we've been gathering over the last several years. <laughs> we don't wanna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, forget all of that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we made cleared out some space on the whiteboard here. We're gonna start making a list of stuff we gotta to get together. We have a long way to go on this project, but I'll uh, show you what we got so far. So we've got a 4L80 transmission for it. We got the original Atlas II that I had in it. This is a, let's see, 3.8 to one. It's got the 30, I think it was, was it 35 spline, 32 spline, 30, yeah, 32 spline output shaft. And the input shaft is different. And so uh, for this new transmission, so we've got the adapter kit from Advanced Adapters. That's the, what, the brace for the transfer yeah. case on the back. Yep, it's got a bolt between them. Between them, and then we've got the, yep, so the we, new but, output shaft of the transmission will go to the input shaft of the transfer case. Yep, yep. So we'll have to take the Atlas apart and put this inside the Atlas so that the transmission will slide right into here. But and then we've got see here's the hydraulic setup for the full hydraulic steering. You got the, the TC pump, the orbital valve, and the reservoir there. And I hope we made these lines long enough since we're stretching out the, yeah. the wheelbase from last time, last go around. We might have to redo those, but <laughs> yeah. we'll figure it out. I'm sure you got plenty of hose <laughs> laying around, huh? We probably have something laying around. <laughs> Uh, and then we got some more ballistic joints. We're going to, like I mentioned, we're going to do the three link with the panner bar. So here's going to be the two lower links. Here's the one upper link. And then here will be the panner bar in the two, six, threes. 
And then we've got the 16 inch, two and a half inch air shocks, um, which our friend Nick says are not going to fit and we're going to make them fit. So we're going to need to put holes through the hood <laughs> to clear them because we want this thing sitting low. So we've squatted down a little bit. This thing originally was probably nine, nine inches of lift when we first added the TerraFlex suspension coils and then it had that three link like I was mentioning. It was probably nine inches from stock at the time. So you can probably tell the back end squatted down a little bit. There's no weight in this right now and the engine's obviously not in there. So we wanna get it as low as possible is the plan. Uh, let's take a look at the motor here. We've got a 5.3 for it that we've pulled out of some random person's house. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if it works. Uh, and we picked up some headers for it here. What are these? Pro Comp or something? Yeah, I can't remember from, what these are. They're from Summit Racing. They're the stainless ones, but just a generic. Mm -hmm. It should be work awesome. Hold on. And then there's our drive lines, which we'll definitely have to modify once we get everything put back together. So those are all the parts. We're going to start making a plan and figuring out where we need to go from here. And you guys want to guess it, but we had to do a lot of work just to get to this point. The Jeep was in this bay and it was totally covered with a mound of parts. <laughs> and so we first had, we didn't show you that, but we cleaned up around it to even get the Jeep out and lay out these parts all professionally and nice. We're just going to start writing on the board and figure out kind of the next steps for the game plan. There's a view in here. I haven't sat, sat in this seat for a while. Yeah, this thing's sweet. I miss this thing. So I got this Jeep. So this is, like I said, is a 97 TJ. I got this in 99 uh, when I was 15 years old. So you can do the math, see how old I am. Uh, and so this was my first uh, rig that I ever had. It was a manual at the time, had a four liter. And uh, I had put a little, well, I actually wheeled it off road in Moab on Gemini bridges before I had my license. So I was 15 and I had it ready to go right before then. And then, and then when I got back and then I turned 16 and everything, then I did put a small lift on it that I had in, uh, in high school. It was like a, you know, like a rough country or something like that. Just, you know, like two inch, two inch pucks. And I think I was running 33s on like BFGs, 33s. And then in 2001 is when I redid everything, everything about below the frame came off the, Terra 60s got put on with our buddy Tuner, rest in peace. Rest in uh, peace. He was over at, well, I guess we started talking when he's at Wheelers, but really when he went over to MEPCO um, about 2000, 2000 it's probably when he went over there. It was, 2000, it was 2001. 2001. Yeah. And so right after he went there, he built this Jeep um, with the three link suspension. So triangular three link on the front and rear before we change out that. Um, and so, yeah, so now we're iteration three. <laughs> Two and, yeah, we'll call it three. Maybe this is closer to four now with the motor swap. Uh, yes, so, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole but, different animal. Yeah. But still, still have all the original gauges. I think we're just gonna run these for now and we'll just come up with a wiring harness that works with this stuff. And then later on, if we get it running, we wanna do some dash, dash we can look at that but yeah i've still got the so i actually had a separate air tank on this thing so i had a gauge here for the arb compressor there's run the arb lockers front and rear and then i had another one that was hooked up to a quick air three with like a two and a half uh pound, two and a half gallon tank underneath the hood that i could fill up tires and whatnot and then the fuel gauge separate for the the fuel cell so and so but everything else on the dash worked other than other than the fuel fuel filler so yeah this thing's gonna be sweet oh and i got on these uh master crafts i do have heated elements that i was gonna put in too so we'll get those going and then for the rear seat as well we still got to put in this uh a bar for the harnesses here
Well, that's all I got on the update of the Jeep right now. But if you make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, you can get notified next time we're working on the Jeep. And you can meet me right back here where I'm going to be working on this guy shortly. If you want to support the channel, head over to OctaneMotorWorks.com. And until next time, feel your passion.